Hey guys, it's Jess from of All Done Dancing. I'm the only one here at All Done Dancing, so I don't know why I say that. Um, this video is just kind of a quick overview of my new workout plan, which I literally have on my sports bra and my cat shirt to work out in, but now it's like the middle of the night and I don't want to start it. If I just had my membership, I feel like I would just, you know, head right over there and do my workout, but I don't, and that seems like a lot of work right now. So, gonna go in the morning, gonna wake up and be productive on a Saturday, which is really unlike me. Um, I normally just, like, sleep and then do some laundry. Anyway, so, I have not worked out since October, like the beginning of October, because my legs were ruined for a long time, like I was on crutches. I basically broke my left leg, but like bruised the end of the bone on the left leg and had to use crutches. So we all know about that because we follow my blog. Uh, so my membership with my stepmom that I was using kind of went away. She decided she wasn't gonna work out um, here in Madison, but that she was going to work out in her town, which is like 30 minutes away, which I totally understand. Um, so at that point, I was like, not a problem. I haven't been making it to the gym in quite some time, and it'll be a while until my leg heals, and so that's that whole thing. Um, and for the past couple months, I was debating back and forth, like, since I was told that membership was gone, um, if I should get my own membership there to the gym, or if I should go back to Planet Fitness, and ultimately I decided I didn't need to spend $55 a month or whatever it is, um, when I can just pay $10 and do the same thing. Like, I basically only use the treadmill and the art climber at Planet Fitness, but I'm going to start using, they have like a 30-minute circuit training type thing that I'm going to check out and I'm going to have them like show me how to use everything and if I think I can adapt it to my needs then I'm going to do that but even if I only work out on the treadmill and the art climber like I would be way better off and I feel like um, when I'm not working out that my legs are sore more often I don't know if that makes any sense um, <coughs> excuse me I'm still not 100% better um, yeah so that is my plan. I'm going to talk to like the people who work at Planet Fitness to see if they have any like suggestions on what I should do. I don't know if they do have suggestions or if they're just kind of there to feed you pizza once a month, which <laughs> I don't know what kind of gym does that, but the one I am joining does, and I'm going to stay away from that night. Um, yeah, but previously when I was at the other gym, um, I was using the treadmill for about 10 minutes at the steepest incline um, at a pace that I could keep up with to kind of get my legs and thigh muscles warmed up. Um, and then I would run through, my personal trainer had set up like a fitness program for me that I can just check things off as I did it. So I would use like resistance bands and stuff to kind of strengthen my thigh and hip muscles. Um, after walking and let's see, I was using like a resistance training system. I don't remember what it's called anymore because it's been like two months since I've done that. Um, also just weights. I think it was about 10 or 15 pounds just kind of, you know, using them. <laughs> um, which I guess I just realized that I bought a bunch of equipment in July when I first started because my trainer said, even though you're not going to be coming to the gym every day, you need to work out every day. And I was like, that is a good point <laughs> that I should have been doing a long time ago. So I know I have like a 10 pound weight. I have the jump rope, which I can't jump rope, but I will be using it to, what? Oh, using it for my arms. Um, I have resistance bands and I also have like a Jillian Michaels DVD that I've kind of adapted to my needs. Um, I can do like level one without my prosthesis and then if I like as I get stronger obviously because you're supposed to do that every day and then you build up to level three and like you're in crazy shape 
Um, so I might actually do that tonight just to kind of jumpstart my fitness plan. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned in other videos yet, but I'm going to San Francisco pretty soon. Or not San Francisco. I'm going to San Diego. I'm going to San Diego with my friend Beth for a little visit. And I would like to wear tank tops without feeling disgusting. And also shorts. Shorts would be nice because I don't want to sweat a bunch because it's going to be like 60s and 70s when I'm there. Um, yeah, so I just want to be fit and like walking through airports. Like we don't have a lot of layovers for our trip, but still walking through an airport is a lot on my body. And then sitting for like four hours is also a lot on my body, which it's a whole thing. So I'm hoping that my legs don't swell. And I guess that's not what happens um, in airplanes. I think it's more that I was in an uncomfortable position and like kind of cramped on the airplane when I did go to San Francisco for Labor Day. Um, but I am getting off topic here. I'm talking about working out. So yes, I am trying to get fit. Um, not that I think I've gained a lot of weight, but I just noticed that I am not, I don't have as much energy. I don't, like my clothes are fitting a little bit funky and I would just prefer to be, you know, fit and tone for the new year and all my travels and such. So if any amputees who watch this have any t kind of like tips that they do, like every day you do X, Y, and Z, and that really helps. Like every day you do yoga or every day you do Pilates or you make sure you walk a mile. Um, I know like last year, my goal was to walk a mile every day and try to like improve the time. And I didn't keep track of it. And so I kind of lost motivation. And then I ended up working out with my stepmom, which was nice. Um, but now it is time to make a new plan because that stuff isn't an option anymore. But thank you for watching. And hopefully uh, I really do like set up my fitness plan and I work out with my friends. And it will be awesome because being healthy is awesome. Um, so thank you for watching and please don't forget to su subscribe if I can talk and <laughs> feedback, comments, everything. Like I definitely try to respond to everybody as long as it is like appropriate and I'm not, I don't know, not really offended, but if I feel like it's not going to be productive for me to respond to some comments, then I kind of just bypass those. But I don't mean to be mean. I just... I only want to have productive conversations. So thank you again for watching and hopefully everyone else is off to a healthy new year. Bye.